Hi, is it all right if I come in? Why are you asking me permission to come into your own room? Hi, ya,、uh, American doctor, so slow. Well, you know, in my practice, I always like to ask. Sometimes my patients can be a little bit more nervous than others. Not nervous, only disappointed. And I sort of noticed you've been glancing down an awful lot since I stepped in. Oh, I'm just admiring clean, shiny hospital floor. At home, my wife couldn't clean floor to save her life. It got a shit stain everywhere. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm Doctor Saturn, and I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. Oh, oh, you actually the doctor?、Uh, I was just joking earlier. I promise you, this will just be a quick exam, and then you'll be on your way. Okay? Usually, I'll start with、uh, making sure that everything the nurse wrote down checks out. So, could I have your name, please? Oh, this one's so easy. In school, they always ask this question at the beginning of every exam. My name is Wu Zhenghuang Di, but you can call me Samuel. <laughs> Interesting name. It's a strong one too. I don't see that much in my office. I must not have that much Samuel live in this area. Oh well, you know. I am known for being a little chatty, but I just find my patients very intriguing. Sometimes a little distracting, even. Oh, you porcupine! I'm already married. <laughs> don't mind that. Well, let's see. Can I have your date of birth? Oh, don't worry. Look, your paper already correct. Hmm, interesting. We're the same zodiac sign. Oh, you born in the year of the beluga whale as well. Well, it looks like everything checks out. You're definitely my patient.、Mm, and I see just a couple of notes written down here. You told the nurse you came in because you were having、hmm, abdominal pain, specifically lower abdominal pain. Oh, maybe that from the fire noodle I had for dinner last night. This morning I got the insane diarrhea. My toilet bowl looked like the floor after my wife cleaned it. Hmm. All right. And it says here you haven't changed any eating habits, no new medications.、Mm, well, it says the last doctor prescribed a few things, but just off the bat, it doesn't look like any of those should be concerning regarding your stomach. So let's see, have you engaged in any new sorts of activities since the pain started? Oh. Activity,、uh, you you mean、uh, like like that one?、Uh? <laughs> you look a little red. Do you have a fever too? You mean like the sexual activity? After my fourth son from seven year ago, my wife don't wanna have the sex anymore. She say I had enough. But I don't got a sex drive anymore anyway. She look a too wrinkly now. I couldn't stand up anymore. Oh,、uh, you know activities as in any new sports. I mean. Sometimes I see a little bit of、um, blunt force,、uh, and yeah, that yeah, could cause some that, internal yeah, bleeding、one. or bruising. So, I guess that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, blunt force. My wife cooking nowadays it feel like a blunt force trauma to my abdomen. I'm sorry. I should have clarified when I said activities. Any history of being lactose intolerant? No, I don't got that one.、Mm, diabetic. Also, no. Okay, okay. Well, that's good to know. All right. Well, the first thing I can do is take a little look. If that's okay. Where you gonna look? You're gonna have to lift your shirt up a bunch. <laughs> mm, well, you see, I like to see the entire stomach. Sometimes patients say that they're experiencing lower pain, but there could also be pain on the pectorals or even your deltoids. That's your shoulder up here. Why your voice getting more erotic? You see, the、uh, the abdomen is a very very wide portion of your body. <laughs> Let's see if I could just get on my rubber gloves, and I already washed my hands. Whoa whoa whoa! This is not prostate exam. I'm just gonna go ahead and start near your collarbone and run them down. My collarbone got no pain. Why are you starting here? <laughs> We can start with the area of pain later. I'd rather get a feel for you first. Oh, for the first time in seven years, something rising, and it's not the shield hero. Well, you have a very, very strong heart. Of course, I got strong heart. I got a no pussy for seven years now, and if I didn't, then I would have got heart attack from the state of my wife's bare face. I need to call animal control to deal with her. 
Mm, I don't need a stethoscope <laughs> to feel that one. Mm, and your toned as well. I assume you get your daily 30 minutes of exercise. Oh, when I was in China, I grew up on farm. Did to work rice field every day. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Mm, and if I run my hands a little lower... Oh, your abs... Stop admiring, do your job. I'm not museum art piece, I'm father of four. Mm, yes, <laughs> your obliques are toned as well. Mm, that, that's good. You know, muscle actually keeps you warmer than fat in the winter, so I assume that you are a very cozy guy. What this got to do with my pain? <laughs> Mm, nothing is hurting yet, hmm? Not when I add a little pressure putting uh, yeah. my hands on your sides. Well, you look a little flustered. Maybe we should pause and take your temperature? No, I don't need to keep going. All right. If you insist you're okay, you can always take a break. I know that sometimes my patients don't like my hands being invasive. Oh, don't worry. You won't find any oil on my body. I know you American love that. Now, lower abdomen. It's easier if I bend my knees and squat down a little. Oh, why are you getting on your hands and knees? You know, just so I can get a, a clearer, you know, view. The police don't do that. That pose look like you're gonna give me oral. Hmm. Well, <laughs> everything looks okay from the outside. There's no red, no pink. There's no bruising either. Yeah, you gotta check the inside of my stomach to see the bruising from my wife's cooking. Mm, but I am going to have to push a little on your lower tummy. Be careful, I think you just summon a fat. I gotta let one rip now. You may wanna open a window. Mm, it's okay if you need a break. I just wanna see exactly what area hurts. I must warn you, one time I dropped the silent bombshell in library. I'm not joking, they use fire alarm to evacuate whole building. But one girl actually don't react and keeps studying. I think maybe she liked the smell. And that's how I met my wife. You have a couple precious organs back there. And also a layer of fat tissue. So depending where I press and how hard I press, we can see and pinpoint the problem. Now you sound like serial killer. I'm going to start by running my hands a little bit to where your hips are and rubbing them. Whoa, 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 where are your hands going? Nothing hurts, hmm? Slide my hands medially. Hmm, now we're in the center of your torso. Oh, slow down, buckaroo. Nothing yet. Well, I guess there you should only move them lower. Slightly beneath the hem of your pants. This is the most action I've had in years. I should come back more often. Are you okay? <laughs> well, you, uh, you started getting a little worried. Mm, I can tell my patient's hands are shaking. I have a very careful eye. We can always stop. No, 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 no. Keep going. Or maybe my fingers are a little too cold down there. I'm sorry. This is just a basic exam. If you keep going lower, you may feel sensation like wet noodle. Don't be alarmed. It's what happens when it doesn't see use. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. <laughs> You're okay. Hmm. But nothing is hurt yet. No, but I think uh, my penis a little bit swollen. Well, I suppose that's a good sign. Yeah, I think my pain is gone now. Your tummy issues went away. Hmm. Huh. Maybe the uh, pressure you were feeling went somewhere else. Hmm. Well, that rules out anything that could be external. It seems as if maybe, from the way your tummy is rumbling, it could be something on the uh, digestive tract. That's what I've been saying all along. My wife must be trying to kill me. Maybe add some more iron, calcium... Uh, magnesium to your diet, even. Oh, no, 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 don't say iron. My wife gonna put the construction nail on my foot. You know what? Maybe, uh, I go now, okay? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to thank me. I love working with my patients, meeting them, seeing how they work. <laughs> 
That's why I became a doctor after all. I think you have to be comfortable in a very intimate setting with your patients. Maybe you're a little bit too intimate. Well, make sure to follow up with me. I'll write some of these notes down for you. Hey, 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 don't mention what I said about that creature. I mean my wife, okay? If she find out, I don't think I'm going to see the light of day again. And remember, don't hesitate to call. I'm here for you, and I think I'll look forward to hearing you again. I hope that you feel better. <laughs> the nurse will help check you out. Until then, I'll be thinking of you. Darling, you cannot be too clingy to your patient. <laughs> I mean nothing by that, darling. Hopefully, I don't see you back anytime soon, but at the same time, I kind of do. It was nice getting to know you. <laughs> see you around. Can you let go of my penis now? <laughs>